Yeah, well, like you said, I'm definitely, I think it's fair to say, a veteran of the sport at this point. Um, I turned 31 this year and I've been competing um, for, you know, at a high level since I was about 16, so over half my life. And um, with that, inevitably comes ups and downs, um, injury and illness, adversity. Um, and, and sort of what I've learned over the years is that it's not if that adversity happens, but how you deal with it when it inevitably does happen. Like any athlete, I've had some setbacks um, injury-wise, uh, sort of an array of things, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, every year it seems to be something a little different. And uh, same with illness. Uh, illness was the thing that sort of set me back a bit this year. This is my third year in a row missing the Canadian Championships. and. That's always pretty heartbreaking. Um, it's one of the biggest things that any Canadian athlete prepares for throughout the year. Um, and to miss it once is hard enough, to miss it three years in a row has, has been a real bummer. Uh, particularly given that I had a really good sort of first half of the, of the year this year. Um, but what keeps me coming back is my genuine love of the sport. And anytime you have those disappointing moments, um, that's where you really have to draw on all the positives that you've had. And, and the reason that you're in it. That uh, indoor race was actually my first race of the season, my first race of the year um, since the previous outdoor year, uh, outdoor season. So we didn't go in with any expectations of setting a record. Um, we had our sights set on trying to get the world indoor standard, which was 428. But my coaches, um, one of the things they really have tried to instill in me is that you can't always be chasing times. So it's important to have time goals and to know what your splits should be and things like that. But um, we just went into the race wanting to execute and run well. And the idea is if you run well, the times will come. So um, I ended up winning that race. I executed the way that we had planned. Um, and I knew that I had achieved the world standard, which was my primary goal, gotten a PB. But it wasn't until about half an hour later that I even found out that it was a Canadian record. My dad told me on the phone when I was talking with him. So um, I don't know if I should be embarrassed about that, but I was, it was just a really nice sort of cherry on top to, to get that. But we just, we put in a really good training block. Again, we didn't have a specific uh, time goal in mind, especially with Peyton Jordan the last couple of years, it's been a little dicey as to how the race actually goes out. So it, it did go out a lot slower than we thought it would. Um, but I had enough strength to really pull me through the last K. Um, and I was really pleased with the PB. I think in a different race, I would have been ready to run faster, but anytime you run a personal best and, and hit another standard, you have to be really happy. So that was, that was a really enjoyable moment for me. I calculated and I look back and including junior national teams, this is actually my 10th national team. So this will be my 10th time wearing you know, the Canada kit, wearing my country's name across my chest. And that in itself is such an honor, but to do it in front of a home crowd is that much more special. 2015, I actually got offered a spot on the Pan Am team here in Toronto in the 5K as well. And um, at that time I turned down that opportunity because I was hoping to go chase my um, Olympic qualifier in the 1500 for the following year. And I've really regretted that decision to turn down a chance to race not only in Canada, but in my city where I, I live and train and the city that I love. So um, when I found out that I had this opportunity this year, I without hesitation said yes. And um, a lot of my friends and family are going to be there. I know a lot of supporters from the Toronto community. We have such a rich um, supportive community here in Toronto um, of just really like wonderfully supportive people. So I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you.